And some companies are even perfectly integrated. So Nestle, which you know, originally um, their first product was sweetened milk for infants, sugar sweetened milk. So they make all the products to make you fat, and now they also have a whole product line that you can take when you become obese. So they've got you from cradle to death. Um, and what are the tactics that are used to try to fight people like me um, and Gary Fetke and, and anybody else who tries to stand up and talk about this new science? Well, there, you know, I don't know if any of you have read, there's sort of various books written about the tactics used by the tobacco industry or, um, you know, there's, there's just a number of public relations tactics that are used and we see them being used against us as well. Um, so one of them is that they try to portray the science is settled. The science is settled, we all agree. This is literally a website uh, run by a professor at, at Yale where it says, we agree. Um, like, that's like the opposite of science. <laughs> science should say, we don't know. <laughs> or, <laughs> but, um, and they have consensus conferences and they try to show the science is settled. Um, and, they, and their line is, those people who are critics are just, they're so confusing for the American public. How unfair of them to come along and to confuse, uh, to raise questions in people's minds. So um, they also launch personal attacks on anybody who comes out and disagrees with them. So, um, you know, I, 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 now I find this funny, but you know, it, I have literally been, this guy, David Katz, he's the so-called scientist from Yale. Um, I mean, he really has gone after me and written columns about how I'm a parasite of science. And in this one, he called me an animal, unlike anything I've seen before. And, you know, this is, these are tactics that really, you know, I'm not kidding, they go back to the Nazis of trying to, like, really, like, to, to demonize people as animals. Um, and... Uh, well, of course, we all know Gary Taubes is a blowhard, so that's no surprise. 